so just a bit of word about congenital hallux varus so i mean uh, it's uh, quite rare i personally have seen maybe one or two cases not more than that so it is a primary hallux uh, there are three types primarily one is a primary hallux varus which is due to over active abductor hallucis so uh, the hal abductor hallucis muscle which is on the medial side of the big toe when it contracts it causes the various deviation of the big toe uh, there can be secondary hallux varus which can be associated with various anomalies like uh, polydictyly of great toe or a delta phalanx in which the phalanx is divided into two or a primary metatarsus adductus also can lead to secondary hallux varus but primary adduct metatarsus adductus uh, can generally lead to a hallux valgus and then there is another thing called as a tertiary hallux valgus uh, which is associated with other uh, anomalies like dwarfism and it is uh, most common this is actually quite common and uh, most of the times it may be associated with either a short first metatarsal or a brachymetatarsia or there would be a fibrous band between the base of the phalanx and the metatarsal so there would be some um, band uh, right across over here which has to be released when you're doing this kind of surgery. Music